Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Savik TV, your home of infotainment. So guys, there has been a lot of craze about uh, the world coin. And uh, I don't know if you've asked yourself, what is the world coin? Uh, this is uh, the 2nd of August 2023. And the CS for Interior Security, Kithure Kindiki, has just uh, suspended the operations of world coin in Kenya. So what is it about this world coin? What is all this craze? Why are people scanning eyes and everything? Come on, man. Just settle down. I want to share a layman's perspective of the world coin. I may not share an expert perspective because I'm not a techie. Uh, neither am I good uh, with crypto. So I don't know much about it. But I'll, I'll, I'll get to share my own layman's view. So come on. Settle down. Sit down. Let me just uh, spend some of your five minutes or so explaining a few things I know about Walcoin and what is currently happening, especially in Kenya. So, short break. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back after the commercial break. <laughs> Don't mind this. Just a bit of flu here and there, but I'll be alright. So, um... As I was saying, I want to give us, you know, a layman's point of view of this whole uh, Walcoin craze or this whole Walcoin thing. So, as I introduced earlier, uh, this morning on 2nd of August 2023, Kenyans woke up to, you know, a notice from uh, the Ministry of Interior and uh, National Administration. And uh, I'll just read out what uh, the notice said. It was, of course, for immediate release. That is how it's dated. And then the notice says that the government is concerned by the ongoing activities of an organization calling itself Walcoin, which is involved in the registration of citizens through collection of eyeballs or iris data. And then it says that relevant security, financial services and data protection agencies have commenced inquiries and um, investigations to establish the authenticity and legality of the aforesaid activities, the safety and protection of the data being vested and uh, how their investors intend to use the data. Further, it will be critical that assurances of public safety and integrity of the financial transactions involving such a large number of citizens be satisfactorily provided upfront. According to the government, accordingly, the government has suspended forthwith activities of WorldCoin and any other entity that may be similarly engaging the activities of Kenyans until relevant public agencies certify the absence of any risks uh, to the general public whatsoever. Appropriate action will be taken on any natural or juristic person who fathers, aids, abets, or otherwise engages in or is connected with the activities for described and then it signed off Kithure Kindiki cabinet secretary for interior and national administration so that aside so what about what is it about this whole Walcoin thing that is even causing the government to come in that is even now causing you know the government to suspend the whole thing so the Walcoin went live on 24th of July 2023 so in the past one week, there's been a lot of friends, everybody running, you know, signing up and everything. But why are they signing up? What is in it for them, you know? So first things first, what is a world coin? Where did it emanate from? Where did it originate from? So we have, um, I believe that we've all interacted with what we call uh, chat GPT. So chat GPT is from a company called OpenAI. And do you know who? The CEO of OpenAI is Sam Altman. I'm sure you know by now. So Sam Altman is is uh, is uh, the CEO of um, OpenAI, which of course now owns ChatGPT. And ChatGPT has really taken over a lot of operations as far as you know Google search and any other AI related stuff is concerned when it comes to looking for information. So it has really taken over. Now the same Sam Altman together with two other partners, comes up with a company called Tools for Humanity. Now, Tools for Humanity is what has birthed Walcoin. So, they say, according to the white paper, that they have about 10 billion Walcoins that will be distributed uh, in, the, in the world. But currently, they've issued up to about 143 million worth of 
world coins as at now not worth actually the quantity of world coins issued as at now is about 143 million but of course they are still issuing more where is world coin currently uh you know they're in kenya they're in france i've seen it in germany as well i think i've seen it in spain as well are they in america from my layman's perspective and the research i've done they are not yet allowed to transact in america so did recruitment start today no recruitment actually started way earlier before the world coin went live so how's the recruitment done and why is it raising concern in kenya right now so we have this app it's called the world app which you cannot access unless you have the world id so how do you have the world how do you get the world id you have to be certified that you are human and for them to certify that you are human you have to scan your eye in that machine called the orb so the orb is some shiny round machine so i'll touch the image here so that you see so that orb that machine scans your iris so once your iris is scanned because everyone has a unique iris so it's a unique identity so it confirms that you're human and then you get your own world id that you can now use to access your world app and once you're able to access that of course they give you free tokens they call it an airdrop so they give you an airdrop of free tokens starting from about 25 world coins as we speak today on 2nd of august 2023 the value of um world coins is about 2.4 dollars so that is the live value right now when we are recording this on 2nd of august so it might be more it might be less depending on the time because you know it's a currency so the value of currency rises and falls depending on the factors of demand and supply so that's that's what, bas what is basically happening so between 24th of july when the world coin went live and today second of august more than 50,000 kenyans have enrolled why are they signing up there is a catch because the moment you sign up this 25 world coins is ideally roughly about 50 50 dollars the current value of the dollar in kenya is about 142 kenyan shillings for one dollar so if you have 25 world coins which is equivalent to about 50 usd that means you'll get a token of about seven thousand kenyan shillings and man the economy in kenya is bad right now things are tough so anyone can actually sign up for this man because someone says yes i have okay what if i don't scan my iris is it even benefiting me in any way i'll rather scan it and get this 7k and then i'll use it to do a bit of shopping here and there and then of, of course god for us all <laughs> leave the rest to god you know that's that's the notion right now that's what most kenyans are doing so the reason why you're seeing a lot of people filling up registration places like what happened yesterday at KICC till the operations were stopped is because of, you know, this. So the main reason why Kenya has had to stop this is because, of course, of security. Security of the people, security of the operations around signing up. Because you've seen people fill up, fill up the malls, fill up, you know, KICC and all the other grounds that were being used to sign up. Second is the data protection. According to the Kenya data protection officers, or... Um, Equally, according to what the CS uh, for ICT, who was being uh, interviewed this morning on NTV, what he said is that the data protection office says there is no major risk as such, but they are assessing the risks, and in case they happen to be, they'll get to communicate. So he was speaking before Kindiki shared out a notice that the operations have been suspended. But according to them, they say uh, the data of Kenyans is secure according to what the, 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 the government is saying as at this moment. So is your data secure? Once you scan your iris, is it very secure? According to the terms and conditions in the white paper from uh, WorldCoin, they say that they do not kind of store your data. So it's just confirming that you're human and then after that they get to delete it. I don't know. As I said, there is a caveat to all these <laughs> information that I'm giving. I'm giving my own 
layman's perspective. So I don't know. I've, I'm not an expert in this. So guys, don't 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 take my words like to be hundred percent expert oriented or something of the sort. I'm just giving it from my own layman's understanding and equally sharing my opinion whether is it a risk worth taking are you going to scan your iris for the money are you not going to do it so again a lot of people you know because of these uh, issues of demand and supply you know people know that there is a very high likelihood that the value of the world coin is going to rise so what most kenyans are doing right now not kenyans only but across because this coin has gone live on um, a lot of uh, platforms right now, including Binance, which uh, trades crypto. So on Binance right now, Wildcoin is live there as well. So a lot of people having seen the Wildcoin go live on Binance are buying the Wildcoin. So you will sign up and then people will tell you now, you know what? It's equivalent to about $2. I'll buy it at $3. I'll buy it at $4 because people... <laughs> tend to think that the value is going to rise in future because of course the coin is going to be scarce so the moment it gets scarce the value is going to go up like what happened with bitcoin and they're of course going to make a killing so uh, i think that's what they're currently doing so i don't know what your take is as far as the world coin is concerned but i felt that um, it's worth just sharing my my you know layman's opinion yeah i don't know what you guys think is it a risk worth taking? Will you scan your iris for 25 wild coins or $50? Is it a risk worth taking? Will you spend 10 hours in a queue? You've seen the big queues <laughs> that uh, you know people are uh, taking, you know, before they can get to sign up. What I'm saying, will you still do it despite the process being suspended? You know, you know, probably in a day or two. Some money will exchange hands, a few approvals here and there will come, and then the process will begin again. So is it a risk worth taking? Because I've seen even some people being interviewed, they don't even know anything about it. They've just showed up because they are told there is money being issued. So they have not even, some don't even have those smartphones where you can say they have now downloaded the world app and everything. They don't even know what is happening. For them, they're just there to have the iris scanned and get the money so is it a risk worth taking is it something you are you are you are ready for you know i don't know so i'm just sharing my layman's perspective my layman's view of things i don't know how it sounds to you but um uh, yeah man so just drop a comment what you think drop your expert opinion as well so that i get to learn you know what yeah man we're open to learning as well so yeah let's meet in the next video guys Keep supporting Savik TV. If you love what you're doing, please subscribe and share this so that many more people get to join our community. Thank you so much. Peace out, guys.